Guys, we are going to show you a simple way how to roast a chicken. You see, rehearsals work, guys. You see what we did there? We're going to show you the easiest way in the world to roast a chicken. Kids, pay attention. And show you, make sure you get close-ups as well of what we're doing here as well. So we have two roast chickens that we're going to put on. Why do you think we're going to do two, Dils? So I can do one. Well, yeah, so you can do one. You show the guys that the kids can do it too. Our hands are clean and our hands are washed as well. Why else? So we don't have to cook tomorrow. Exactly. So it's going to use, a, if I was to put one on that tray, it's the exact same thing. The oven's on anyway. So roast two. Perfect for a Sunday lunch or a dinner or something like that. And then the next one that you have, and that's cool, chicken sandwiches. You've got your chicken salads. You've got a million and one different things you can do with it. So it's about using your head. Very, very simple. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Watch and pay attention. Put your hand over the board here just in case because I think we all know how capable Dills is of spilling things. So only use one hand, right? So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil and you don't need a huge amount. You're talking basically a teaspoon. Okay, and what do we do, Dills? All around. Yeah, all around. Get in nice and close there, Shani. Look. So look, that's what we're doing. That was a tiny piece and we've only used one hand. So we've always got one clean hand, right? That was a tiny, you don't need to stuff it with loads of butter or put loads of oil on it. About a teaspoon, enough to massage it all over. Over and wash the hands, Dills. You got yours done? Yes. Done, ma'am. Now, boom, wash your hands and then dry them out. So why do you think we put a little bit of oil on the chicken like that, guys? It's very simple. You'll see in loads of cooking shows that they'll season the whole thing and then, then they put the oil on afterwards. I'm sure all the seasoning falls off and it's on the bottom of the tray. That olive oil is basically glue, isn't it? So now we can put whatever seasoning we want onto this and it's gonna stick perfectly. You start with pepper and I start with salt on mine. Rock salt, put a bit on it. And think about it guys, you don't need to be putting in the olive oil to get the skin nice and crispy. Chicken skin is gonna crispen up anyway. It's fatty, it's gonna crispen up anyway. So you don't need to be putting in loads of oil and butter. You got your pepper, come on, Shani, have a look at this. Good twist of the pepper, all the way around it. There's nothing nicer in the world than chicken skin, crispy chicken skin. I've got some little mixed herbs. You can put Cajun spices, you can put a little bit of curry, you can put paprika, you can put whatever you want. And the last thing we're gonna do, wedge a lemon, basically, in its butt. How are we doing, Dills? Get a close one, Dills there, Sean. Look at this master chef. Look at this guy. Absolutely perfect. Okay, put the lemon in to the chicken. If you don't have lemon, don't worry about it. Or else you can throw a little bit of an orange. Don't worry about it. Now here's what I'm talking about. Okay, one chicken on the tray. That was going in anyway. Plenty of room for a second. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Dills, you're gonna open the oven. And the oven, this is, by the way, guys, is a two kg chicken, or a one, what was it, 1,900 grams of chicken. It's the same thing. Dills, tell me time and temperature. An hour and 45 minutes and 180. Exactly. So 180 degrees Celsius for an hour and 45 minutes. No more, no less. Chicken's going in. Look at that. How simple was that? And when that's ready, I'm even going to show you how to portion it up. So we've got to wait. An hour and 45 minutes. See you in a minute. One hour, how many minutes? 45. 45 minutes later, at what degrees? 180 degrees. Our chickens are perfect. Shani, I'm gonna grab them out of the oven, show the guys we've just done a few roast potatoes, a few mushy peas, and a bit of carrots and leek to go with it. And then over here, champ. Now, I'll take out two of the most absolute perfect chicken. Better. Your one's obviously better. Ha! Oh my god. You see how simple that was. That's one minute we prepared it and the oven did the rest of the work. Now normally I would let that rest for about 10-15 minutes, right? But because I want to show you how to portion it, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna do it straight away. So there'll be a bit of a juice going all over the place, but that's fine, Dills, isn't it? Where is my El Forco? Turn off oven. Now, these guys, as you can tell, were simply Bought from the supermarket. Just get any of the juice out there now. Now I'm making Bisto gravy because I couldn't be arsed making the real gravy, okay, for today. So we take her out and Dills, where is my scissors? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to portion this now, okay? So 
and we'll cut off a little bit of string. Perfect. Now, that one we're gonna let cool. That's for the sandwiches, that's for the salads, that's for that kind of stuff tomorrow and the next day. And of course, we have a little bit of grape juice. We're gonna do this family style, guys. Look, so we're gonna bring all those dishes down to the table and everybody can help themselves. Still, pay attention. Right, so look, we go straight into the side here. Now, there is gonna be a lot of juice coming up. Now, I wanna tell you something about the supermarket ones, right? The legs will always tend to be a little bit red. That's because they're bruised. It's not that they're not cooked, they're bruised, okay? It's because they can't move from where these chickens are cooped up. So you'll see, oh, that's not cooked. It's cooked to perfection. I've done it like this for years. This one's not too bad at all, actually. This guy got a bit of space, bit of extra space. So look, we go straight down. Turn the leg over. Here's the juice I was telling you that's coming back. And there's a little joint right through here. So we go straight through and down, okay? That is a little bit of a tie and a little bit of the drumstick. So we do the exact same on this one. Straight down, pull it out, pull it out. I'll turn it around here so you can see. And we go straight in, 45 degree angle, straight down, turn it over, and right through the tie and the drumstick joint. Perfect. So we've now already made four portions out of that chicken. A drumstick for the smaller kids and a tie for the bigger kids. Now, watch this. Here's the breastbone right there. So come about one inch like that, right? And go slice it, and a little bit of power, straight through. Now we have another, look at that for a beautiful portion like that. Simple. I do it again on the other side. There's the breastbone, so come down about an inch or so, and whoever gets this is the best portion, I think, because they get the chicken wing with it. Straight down, a little bit of power, and we'll go straight through. Chicken bones are very soft and very brittle, so they're easy to cut. There we are. Another beautiful portion. And then the last one, we come straight down. Look at that, really simple. Straight down the tie or the breastbone. And just pull it out, pull it out. Look at that. Another beautiful portion here. There's mom sneezing in the background. It's going all over the table. Well, then do your job and get a bit of, look at that, another little portion like so and then hang on i told you see if you let that rest for 10 minutes you won't get this juice last portion right down the collarbone what's wrong with you shani sounds like you're dying over there okay straight down and the great thing is guys keep that carcass and pick away from it or make a lovely chicken stock out of it Dills, go turn on the kettle we make our lovely bit of bisto gravy you always get the chicken skin just wanted to show you just how easy it is to cook a chicken. One minute to prepare it, an hour and 45 minutes in the oven, 180 degrees, take it out. And that is your simple roast chicken. Do it tonight for Mother's Day, guys. She'll love it. See you later for all the videos. See you help. Tell, uh, goodbye <laughs> from me and goodbye from him. There you go. See you later.